Fasten your seat belts, hang on to your seat because the roller coaster ride is about to begin, folks. Yeah, let's take a look at your current 7 a.m. map at uh, Thursday morning, I guess this is, right? High pressure over the deep south near Atlanta, Georgia, pumping southwesterly winds into Ohio, moderating our temperatures. You should know yesterday morning, which was Wednesday morning at 7 a.m., it was three degrees above zero. At 7 a.m. Thursday morning in New Cumberstown, it was 23 degrees. Yeah. You can see the benefits from those southwesterly flows. You see these two stationary fronts out here, that eventually that'll become one active cooled front, low pressure will develop, move to the southeast. It'll pull that through here and it will drop our temperatures, but before then it will give us a potpourri of weather conditions. Let's take a look at our future view map, 36 hours from 7 p.m. Thursday until 7 a.m. Saturday. You can see, first off, this is an interesting story. You can tell if you can read isobars and the precipitation patterns, what's gonna happen. The streak of snow up here will be associated with a warm front lifting northward. Then we've got an influx of moisture moving out of the deep south. And also, you can see on the eastern coast of the United States, a storm moving up to the northeast as well. It's going to be a nor'easter, and it could dump a lot of precipitation and strong winds. The isobars, it's really going to bomb out. Uh, isobars are going to be tight on that but back to our story you can see precipitation moving into ohio to start out as rain could be a slight mix friday morning all rain friday afternoon cold front makes its approach toward ohio you see this narrow band of pink precipitation moving through ohio that's a mix of precipitation that'll be along and ahead of the cold front that will move through here and drop our temperatures down into the 20s on sunday so there's your storyline let's take a look at your state map for the day on friday your traveler's forecast well, it looks like we've got precipitation that's going to move into the area. Showers are likely across the entire Buckeye State, but it's going to be mild daytime highs in the 40s to low 50s across the deep south. With that in mind, let's take a look at your local five-day forecast. So we will have the precipitation moving in Friday. Be careful out there Friday, especially up until around noon or so. Could be some freezing drizzle out there. Rain after that, cool front Saturday, mixture of precipitation Saturday afternoon, snow Saturday night, clearing Sunday, windy, but much colder. With all that to digest, have yourselves a great weekend.